Hello. Good evening. Hello. And welcome. <laughs> In Bill Wells. Exposure lights, big night out. Yep, on Saturday night. And then the Scott Mentor Marathon ran one on Sunday morning. Brilliant. So talk me through um, any changes to the lineup this year, um, sponsors, partners, etc. So first of all, the biggest change for Bill this year is actually the venue. We're actually changing venues. Okay. Um, we're no longer running at the showground. We're going to the farm next door, which uh, allows us to do um, some quite cool things. Actually, we've got better acoustics for the band, better finish. Um, we're coming down straight into the woods, straight off the off the off the mountains, into through the woods, straight into the back of the barn. Spitting into the van, into the van is going to be pretty spectacular on Saturday night. So new this year as well is we've got a new photographer and new videographer. So yep. first Amy, who's stood behind the camera now, trying not to laugh. <laughs> yeah, and um, and photographs this year have been taken by Anthony Pease, yep. which is uh, really exciting, really good. He takes some great shots. Should be a, just a slightly different slant on um, on the images. Should be just good. And also good news is for you guys is they're going to be free, so they're going to be uploaded onto our website and our Facebook page for you to be just to use as you see. Like, share, tag. Yeah, yeah, tag please, yeah. Yeah, all that. Um, but yeah, so make sure that you're smiling when you see the photographers and the videographers. There's, um, there's going to be lots of them out there in the social media. Uh, in terms of serious partners, we've still got the, the usuals, um, the headline for Scott still, Syncross. Um, hope we're going to be doing the uh, Ladies ride on Saturday, 10.30, which will be great. Still doing the kids? Yeah, the kids one. We, so we flipped the times on that one because it didn't seem to work because I don't think the kids like getting out of bed on Saturday morning at 9 o'clock. I certainly don't. So uh, they're going to be in the afternoon now, half two. So that will work. that'll be great again. Again, we've got access to the woods just above the, the venue, so the kids are going to oh, have an absolute yeah, yeah. blast. Uh, really so good uh, USE are coming uh, with uh, their lights, exposure lights. They again sponsoring the night rides for this year, and to be honest, they're the best in the market. There are ones available by far, but nothing else touches it. No, no, I got a cracker. Nothing compares. We've we've also got uh, Ergon and Topeak coming again for 2018. They're now into the second year of being series partners. Brilliant. Uh, they'll have um, some samples or try before you buy um, offers on go, which will be great. Um, who else? We've got Six Elements are a new one. Um, so top end carbon wheels. Graham will be on the venue to talk you through how good his wheels are. We've tested one set through the winter and they're, yeah, they're pretty sweet, um, okay. stiff, and yeah, just, just do the job nicely. Again, complimented with the Hope Hub, which is, does the job nicely. Troll will be here, be talking rubber, so have a chat with Tim. He can tell you what you need on the course and what's going to work best. We've also got a uh, dirt wash providing the, the pressure washers and the wash areas, and also they'll have a stand so we can. Uh, uh, talk you through the best products to clean your bike, maintain your bike, uh, which is quite important actually. Um, it's not so good for us because when people look after the bikes, they don't get broken, so we don't get any, <laughs> any revenue. For yeah, them. yeah. But so somebody on hand to give you advice about how to lube your chain and uh, keep your drivetrain in, in check and all that sort of stuff isn't great for a bike shop, but it's good for you and will save you a few quid. Yeah. And perhaps so you can save up enough to get some of those six hundred wheels. Yeah, exactly. Call and see the guys, and I'll talk you through it. We've also got some interesting stuff going on with Talk. Um, so they've been serious partners for a long time now um, and they've stepped up again this year, they're, they're helping us out with the, the feed stations and the, and the powder. Also they're doing the pasta party which is going to be quite interesting with their new um, um, sport specific pasta. So that will be quite interesting to see how that's up taken and um, also they've partnered with E3 Coach, John at E3 Coach. Okay, yeah, cool. So, um, good guy. Very good, yeah, no stuff. I've actually been in a program since September. Um, I could do with going on a program. And yeah, it's uh, really, really good. Um, so yes, uh, discounted if you enter our rounds or if you go and see them on the weekends, you'll get a discounted package um, to get yourself up to speed. Just to make things a little bit easier or if you want to beat your PB, they're the men to speak to. So go and have a chat with Matt or John or both actually. Yeah, yeah. That'll be good. We've got Deck Shell coming uh, again, which will be great. I'd like to think you won't need waterproof socks this weekend, but there's a good chance you will. <laughs> yeah, I, certainly if uh, bank holiday weekends anything to go by, I would, uh, yeah, waterproof socks and gloves are a must. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hire bikes. If you've hired your bikes, please try and come and get them set up and the suspension and everything dialed in on the Saturday. It just takes a lot of pressure off the guys on the Sunday morning. Um, it looks great. It looks like they're really busy, but actually, um, yeah, they are under quite a lot of pressure. Yeah, on the yeah. So, yeah, if you can come and try and get it done Saturday, 
at some point, get, even if you just get it set up and then leave it with the boys, they'll look after the bikes for you overnight. Yeah, yeah. down them up and stuff, and yeah, yeah, otherwise it's a, it's a mad rush between half eight and nine, yeah. trying to get your pedals put on and stuff like yeah. that. It's just a little bit crazy, yeah. So. yeah. I, know, I know how much Phil likes to lie in yeah. on a Sunday, so... Yeah, yeah poor little man, he needs to get to sleep with he does. Not his beauty sleep though. No, no, no he's not his beauty guy. Yeah. Um, other thing to note, which is quite important, is the start time. 8 o'clock oh, yeah. on Saturday night at half past 10. Half an hour lie in on Saturday. So, what the usual start time is? It's half past 10 Sunday morning. Half 10 Sunday morning? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So, that means I can stay in bed till about 25 past. That suits me. Yeah. So, let's have a chat about the roots. Right, come on in. So, Saturday night, expose your lights, big night out. Eh? I'm already excited about it because it's great. And if you have a big flash of lights at yeah. the start, so if you've done it before, the 3 2 1, everybody's lights go on, and then uh, it's always quite comical for me to see people trying to put their headlights on like that, you know. Yeah. Um, and then oh. off into the wilderness. So be led out through through Belf Wells, which is also quite amusing on a Saturday night yeah. around about 8 pm through the main streets with people trying to get to the pubs, etc. Um, and that leads off through Belf, um, up the old Brecon Road. Yep. Out and then swing a left onto Parry's pitch. Yep, so you're gonna do about 7k behind the leader vehicle. Um, and then you've got two options if you've entered the shorter one is 22k which is Diablo or the six pack is actually was scheduled to be 40k but we've since we've wrecked it uh, a couple of days back we've taken one little bit out because Drew kept falling off on it yeah um, so if a man of his caliber semi-pro in 1993 yeah man man of his caliber can't wait it we've decided to take it out um, so a couple other things to note on the night ride is there'll be one water stop on the Diablo and two on the six pack. Um, the first water stop is at 9k for both, and the second one is at approximately 20k. Um, depending on how the weather goes this week, we might trim it a little bit more. We might chuck a bit of tarmac in, or we just, just might make it a little bit more rideable in places. As it is at the moment, it'll take a fair bit of rain, but we just don't know how much we're going to get. The other um, thing that people always ask is how much climbing we've got. So 650 meters in the Diablo and just over a thousand on the six pack. So a um, thousand meters of climbing in, in just under 40k. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, that's the sort of ride I like. But it's front loaded so pretty much all the climbers at the beginning. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But fast forward then to Sunday morning. Yep. Is a 10.30 start. Yep. Brilliant. So a couple of beers after the yeah. So it's, it's always difficult to wind down after the night rides. You, you just buzz in after you just had probably one of the most spectacular night rides of of, of your career, of your ride, of your riding career, and then you've got to try and get up the next morning. Yeah, it's quite difficult. So we've let you have an extra half hour um, just because we're kind of that. We've all been there. I think we've all struggled to clean our bikes and get everything ready for the next day. So uh, yeah, that's the plan. Ten thirty. Again, we've got a little bit more tarmac in there than we usually would, just because it, the, some of the places on the hill, although they're riding okay, they're just a little bit waterlogged, so it's just slow, so it's a bit yeah. of a slog. Actually rode it, um, so the, there's a bit of tarmac at the beginning, yep. uh, to get you out onto the hill, uh, towards Forest Fields, yeah. as, eight, eight, uh, is that right? Yeah, up, on, up onto the hill there, and a, a loop for the, for the mini marathon, a loop up on the hill there, yep. and, um, and then a descent back up. Oh, uh, they're coming down a descent onto the main road? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that we're, 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 Ian fell off again. Yeah. <laughs> so I fell off there again on, uh, that was on Saturday. That was great, yeah. So I fell off there. So, um, yeah, wishing you luck. <laughs> and then you'll go back, but then the other two distances out onto the hill then for further loops. Yeah. It's a really good, really good riding up there. And like I say, on the high ground, it's, it's holding well, so it, it'll be great. Yeah, it's going to be good. <clears throat> um, just the numbers then, we'll chuck some numbers at you. Mini Marathon 27k. One water stop at 18k, and you're going to do about 730 meters of descending. Uh, half, as it stands at the moment, we're looking at 44 kilometers. That might drop to about 40. Uh, two water stops, 18k and 32k. There's a split point if your legs are starting to get a bit uh, heavy and you decide to cut short. There's a split point at 18k and 30k. They will be marshaled, so just make sure that you get your marshal to give you a little dot so that we know that you've. Uh, Drop that yeah. And on the, the half, currently it's going to be about 1300 meters of descending, but again, that is subject to change. It might drop meters or so. But we're being very optimistic and we don't think so. The full marathon, then the big boy 64k, three water stops. You've got uh, 18k, 34k, and 48k. 
we what the stops are going to be, and then the split points again are at 18k and 30k. So you can you've got you're quite well into the ride before you have to make the decision to uh, cut it short. Which yeah, is, yeah. Should be should should help um, gauge how you're feeling at that um, at that time. That one it is 1830 meters in the center. So that's quite a big one. Yeah, yeah. Good time here. So uh, yeah, it should be good. Uh, yeah, so moving on to arrows, so the night arrows, which is Ian has got. Oh, stuck it there. That's the boy, yeah. Scotch bright, black, Scotch, uh, Scotch bright white, and these bad boys really do light up in the night. If you've done it before, um, then you'll know what they're like. The, the root mark is really good, um, and you've got those confidence arrows in there as well, so if it feels like it's been a long time, yeah. you'll get one pop up. Um, yeah, and of course, Dave will be able to pre-ride it before you go out there to check the all in situ. Yeah, in theory you should be able to you should be able to see at least two of them at any given time on the hill. Um, yes, it should, it should there should be no issues with uh, finding your way. And if you haven't got lights, uh, yeah. exposure will have lights available on the night to to demo and to hire, and um, you yeah. often do good prices at the uh, yeah. at the events as well. So yeah, it's if it's for you, use. and then they, 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 they can do you do your tasty deal, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, at least hire them out and see if it's for you then. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Um, day arrows. So we're following an orange. Kind of orange arrows. Yeah. Um, and then each split point will have one of them leading up to it. And then they will be well marked half, full and or mini uh, on stage on and showing the directions. And then just beyond where you have split, there'll be another one just to say mini horse. Whichever yeah. way it is, just, just to confirm that you are on the right course. You have gone the right way. No, these bad I'm boys. Those, maybe. Oh, brand new as well, shiny. Yeah. Have you noticed as well? New logo. So signs all new logo down. Yeah, it's good. Looks good. Some of the signs still got all logos. <laughs> <laughs> Times are hard. So if you see any of these bad boys, there's a reason for them. We don't put them out just cause. Um, we're we're expecting you you mountain bikers, so we're expecting that you you know have a level of skill. Have a. <laughs> <laughs> I expected he had level level skill yesterday, but yeah, a little bit yeah, I know. Yeah, we're gonna let that down. No. Yeah. Um, so yeah, these are here for a reason. It could be a road crossing, or it could be something pretty technical. So just just once you see these, engage that brain. Throughout the course, make sure you've got um, plenty of food, drink. Yeah, waterproof. Waterproof. Maybe yeah. maybe a warm layer to chap on as well. Yeah, it's, um, it's gonna get. It's probably gonna be quite cold up at the top. Yeah, it's prepare for a day out on the hill, isn't it? You know, yeah. it's not gonna get cold because it's at the furthest point, it's quite way out, isn't it? You know, yeah. you'll have the support out there, but you, you need to pack sensibly. Yeah, yeah, um, we've got like at the water stops and stuff to replenish, but try to take it out too. But, yeah, as you know, we would on the road. Absolutely. Spare tube. If you haven't got one, um, the beach wall tube to sail at the start. Uh, Multi tool. Stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Your gels, any food or sort of packaging you open on the hill, please make sure you bring it back. Yeah, litterin's a big one because uh, the wind takes it up there and, it, and it's gone, you know, it blows out your hands or whatever. That's that's not cool for us because a lot of it is under very kind permission of yeah. landowners, etc. So if they if they wind up with a, with a bin, for, bin bag full of rubbish in their farmyard, etc., then, then it's not good, is it? So on Saturday night for the exposure like start we will head out from pet mining farm yeah. behind the mountain bike marathon truck lights on follow the truck through belf wells up the old breton road it's really important um, for your own safety and for our reputation that you stay behind the truck so not too much overtaking and jockeying for positions etc because once you get up uh, Tom Van Dick, etc. out that way. Up Paris pitch. Up Paris pitch is natural selection and it will string out anyway. So hold your line. No riding on the wrong side of the road because that's really not cool. Yeah. Um, and make sure you've got working back light as well, really, because there are some sections of road you need to have a working rear yeah. light. So they're important things for Saturday. Yeah, we'd just like to say on, on that, um, we, so the motorbike, the quad, and the, the Mountain Bike Marathon vehicle in front of you, they're not there to stop traffic. We, uh, quite often have had to veer over to stop cars because we can see certain individuals riding like, well, tools. Tools? Tools. Probably not what I'm saying at the time. <laughs> but, um, yeah, please don't do it because someone is going to get hurt. 
um, if it carries on, or, or we're going to end up having to disqualify people, which is yeah, yeah, it's not quite what we're about, really. No, it's not what we're about, isn't it? And it's, it's not a race at the end of the day, it's a uh, not, uh, non, non, it's non competitive personal challenge, absolutely. So, yeah, let the um, let the racing happen on the hill, yeah, and it's plenty of time, like, like the, the internet, there's plenty, plenty of time. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Sunday, so fast forward to Sunday morning. Yep. Again, mass start, and we're looking at probably top side of 750, 800 riders yep. Yep. for a mass start on Sunday. So that's going to be huge. Again, we'll do the, you know, we'll do a countdown on that, and, and then off to go behind the marathon truck. There is a good, a good stretch out on the road, and it's really important. You, you wouldn't do it if you're out with your mates. Don't go over the white line. Don't ride into oncoming traffic, etc., etc. As well. Um, also on the mini marathons, we have quite quite a lot of families doing it and kids and stuff like that. So be respectful. Um, we tend to find that at the end of the day, the guys who are going to be home first in the long distance and the middle distance marathons, okay, really well behaved, and, and they can really keep pace behind the vehicle and stuff like that, okay. So some people are a little bit more down the pecking order. Someone like myself, there's no need to get up there early on and start punching, knocking kids off, going bar to bar, because that will sort itself out on the yeah. quarry crime. Yeah, up onto exactly. Yeah. Up onto the hill, you know. Just, just ride sensible and, and try to line yeah, up cool, somewhere, man. somewhere where you think you're going to be. You know, if you're just going out for a cruise and you know you have you know, you're not at the top end of some of the, like as fast some of the faster riders, you don't line up with them on the front and yeah, cause carnage. Cause total carnage. Yeah. yeah. So, Reg Desk is going to be open from about two thirty uh, Saturday afternoon. So you can go and get your um, your goodie bag, your your number board. Make sure that you've got your number board state zip tied on your the front of your bike so it's clearly clearly legible and we can read it and also on that this year we've got um, the contact details so if you haven't saved the contact details which will be um, on the briefing notes they'll be on there anyway so you can um, if you do on uh, the trails you forgot to save the number uh, get yourself sorted there'll be a medics number on there and also uh, course marshals Oh, brilliant. And on, um, so once your ride's complete, that is Saturday night and the Sunday. So if you're doing the Exposure Lights Big Night Out, sign on, register, head out on the hill. You must come back and sign off at the end of the ride, okay, so we know you're safe. Because every year we do at least, after we wake up, at least one person sleeping in their tent after we've been panicking, normally about half one in the morning, freezing cold. Yeah, they're in the tent, flat battery on the phone, didn't sign off, bit of a nightmare. Sunday as well, so you sign on and always make sure that you come back and see us, give us your number and let us know that you're back safely, otherwise, you know, up with the uh, air ambulance and, yeah, you know. That's even if you've, so if you've signed on for Saturday, if you signed on for the event on Saturday, you've ridden Saturday night, but you did decide not to ride Sunday morning because your legs will be tired or you got a bit too much ale. If That's you don't happened. start, even if you don't start, please make sure that you sign off. Yeah, so DNF or DNS do not, did yeah. not start, did not finish. Make sure we know about it, okay? Otherwise, we'll be ringing your loved ones. Yeah, they hate that tonight. Just noise them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you on the weekend.